Oh man, guys, she's giving me that look. What is up, guys? It is Brian636 here with this beautiful, beautiful uh, 2004 636. Today, gonna do the first little thing uh, that you should do on every bike that you plan on stunting, and that is called the Clean Air Mod. Now, before I start ripping the bike apart, let me explain what the Clean Air Mod is and why you need to do it. First things first, what is the Clean Air Mod? It is tubing that you're gonna run instead of uh, from the air box that you're gonna run up to the front of the bike. Why do you wanna do that? Because when you're on a wheelie, oil will be flowing into the air box you don't want that it's just a bad day you can hydro lock your motor it's never fun the bike turns off uh, you can blow your motor so instead of it running into the airbox you pretty much take a tube uh, run it up to the front of the bike you know somewhere in the controls there put a filter on the end of it and uh, do a block off plates up top where it connects on top of the on top of the head and also block off any holes that were in the airbox so I know I might have lost some of you there but uh, that's why we're here with this video I'm gonna show you guys step by step of what you need to do to your 636 and this is pretty much across the board you need to do this with an F4i you need to do this with new old 636s I don't know many bikes that uh, don't have their engine breather hose ran up to their airbox so this is something that you need to do on pretty much every bike so let's get into it take off that rear seat pop that girl off then you got your main seat off a little six millimeter allen take the long 10 mil out the back see that led wiring you know it's not it's not that bad for for what it is it's just direct up to the battery i might actually leave it i was going to gut it but i might leave it i kind of like the way it looks now guys this is the moment of truth for a lot of stunters that uh you know went and bought a stock bike to see underneath the tank uh to make sure everything's not molested that's something that uh that means a lot Put this girl over here to the side. So guys, this is really what you wanna see. You wanna see this stock breather hooked up to the air box. That means this bike has never really been stunted. Yeah, it's a little dusty in there, but other than that, it looks like no one's ever really been in here and screwed around with stuff. Um, all the wiring is in the stock places. The stock clamp is holding that in. So it looks like no one's really been in here and screwed around much. Um, which is a really good thing. The only thing that I see that anybody screwed with was this wiring. Um, that's not a huge deal. This is all aftermarket. It's run right to the right to the battery, right to the lights. So not a huge deal. Next up, we'll get the airbox off. Take that off. That's the main breather hose. Take that off. That's your air sensor. Now you want to get in here with your little three millimeter Allen. And these bolts are kind of hidden back there. I don't think I'm going to be, even be able to show you guys. I'd normally just feel for them to be on it. There you go. They're right in between the number one and two cylinder and the number three and four cylinder down there right in the back side boom and just like that the airbox off here's another one of those breathers that we're going to have to block off uh, right here as well as this one as well so guys we have three holes to block off in the airbox uh one two three um where the breather came from from the bottom part of the motor there where the top part of the stock air system plugged into right there and then just a little drain for the for the airbox set that down over there now guys, even more good news, um, a lot of this in here gets pulled out by stunters and of course um, the system, the stock system that we're going to run uh, a tube to. So we're pretty much going to delete all of this crap. Um, we're going to delete it all and it's just a good sign that nobody's really been in here screwed with it and the motor looks extremely clean. I mean, there's dust, you see that? Like the dust comes right off. It looks like, you know, somebody literally left this bike as is you know stock for for its whole life so that's a good thing it's another good thing you want to see so you guys are going to notice that one of the vacuum lines coming off of uh the throttle bodies plugged into here um pretty much the stock system we're eliminating so you're gonna you know you can just leave it but i kind of like to cut it down like that you know save this little piece and throw just a little bolt in there so there you go just like that you got a little bolt in there nice and airtight um that's all you want to do is pl uh, plug up the vacuum line that you're taking off so now we can go ahead and gut all this get rid of all of it it's all junk so guys before you junk all this uh go ahead cut this piece right here now you just take that little piece that you cut off put it right in between them so that way they just connect each other instead of running block off plates that's how I have my bike run. That's how I've had it run for years. So there you have it. You got these two linked together. Um, everything else is the vacuum line sealed up. Uh, the only couple things that we need to do left now is run to Ace Hardware and then AutoZone, get the breather, get some more tubing so we can run it through here like that. You can bring this with you for reference of what size tubing you need and uh, get on the road. I'm over here, pick out whatever you know filter you want. These are made for like the top of crankcases on like big V8s and stuff, so, but they work. Put a little uh, nozzle in there and that'll be our breather, 12 bucks. High pressure, three quarter OD, half inch ID with a three quarter thread 
and a 3 8 uh, barb to fit in there. So should be good, get about three feet. All right guys, so we're back from the auto parts store and Ace Hardware, got our tubing. This is half inch tubing with a 3 8 brass nozzle and a 3 8 air cleaner from AutoZone. So that's really the only three parts that you need. need. Um, that'll slide into that hose pretty easily like that if you get the right size. Um, put the clamp on it and that ain't going anywhere and uh, I'll show you how to run it. All right guys, so you're gonna wanna come around to this side here. Now a common issue that I've seen with a lot of guys that run this is they'll just run it right up here like this and they'll think that that's okay. Um, when you put your air box and your tank back on, that's not gonna be okay. So before you put your air filter, before you put your nozzle on, before you do anything, you're gonna wanna run it back here around the throttle bodies like that. So you wanna tuck it back there behind the throttle bodies and run it up here where we're gonna want our filter. And we'll be able to trim that up as, as we need. Plug this back in to the same hole. Make sure you put that clamp back on so it doesn't go anywhere. You can utilize the stock clamps or you could go get C-clamps, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, there you go, got the stock clamps in place. We'll trim it to right about there so our filter sits nice and flush down in here. I'll tell you what, you don't need three feet. I, I screwed up, I got a lot more than I needed. You only need about a foot and a half, maybe two. So next thing is putting this uh, nozzle in there. You wanna like actually thread it in. Or you can get a reducer, like one of those double-sided reducers. This is just what I've done. Um, it works just as well. I've never had any problems with mine moving or anything like that. Make sure it's extra, extra good and seated in there. Boom, looks good, looks like Good and seated in there, so we're gonna go ahead and put the air filter on. That slides in there. You want a good tight fit like that, and then put this C-clamp around it. It got the matching blue, match the blue bike. Even though nobody's ever really gonna see it, it's kind of the little things like that that are kind of cool, you know? When you're in here cleaning up everything, even though no one's really gonna see it. Tuck that down in there. If you notice what we did, I mean, we relocated the air filter from being right up here to the air box to now when you're on a wheelie oil will fill up this tube and get to right around here maybe maybe around here um and sit there and uh if it does get to up there there's a breather there uh if you're really riding out scrapes and stuff like that you might notice a little bit of residual oil around the air filter uh around this air breather which is totally which is totally normal go ahead find a bolt that fits in this one because we got to still block off these these breathers put a bolt in there um we're gonna leave this one but we need to block this as well and guys i couldn't really find a bolt big enough for for this guy here so we're just gonna do the old-fashioned way stuff some electric tape on there and tape around i hope it's i hope it's pretty obvious to why we do this this is just basically uh there was holes in the air box that allowed you know venting and now that we've gotten rid of that venting we don't want unfiltered air going into the air box so just preventative side of stuff there we go all clogged up i think i have the same exact way on mine go ahead throw the air box back on remember to put your little vent that we didn't plug up back in that's just a little drain it runs down to the side tighten our air box back on make sure you plug this girl back in the air sensor plug our fuel pump back in plug our fuel line back in screw your gas tank back in second in the back Throw your seats back in place. Now guys, if we did this right, there shouldn't be any kind of FI lights, nothing like that going on, so. That's what we like to see, nothing. So as long as uh, you plugged up the vacuum lines okay, as long as you put the air sensor back on, everything like that, you shouldn't have an FI light. Um, as you see, a lot of guys, you know, they put it together, they take all that stuff apart, and uh, they overcomplicate things and they forget something. Let her warm up real quick. All right, guys, so there you go. The clean air mod is done. This is one of the most important things you need to do to any stunt bike uh, for obvious reasons. If you guys want to be entered in a chance to win this bike when this full stunt build is done, hop over to my Patreon. Every dollar a month you pledge is one entry into this giveaway. Uh, super excited to keep these videos coming. Hopefully going to be banging out one a week. Uh, I head out to Kentucky next week with this bike to get the cage, sub cage, and 12 bar made by Cox Stunt Parts. Uh, super excited for that. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes over there as well. So as always, this is your least favorite moto vlogger telling you to keep some oil out of your air box, save your motor, and uh, do the clean air mod. And as always, be safe out there and enjoy today. Much love, peace.